Well, I got a first for you guys. You've probably never seen one of these. Or maybe you have. Why do I have a PlayStation 2 sitting on my sink? Well, I'll tell you why. Hear that? It's remote controlled. Made it myself. It's a hack job, but I made it. It's in here in the kitchen because it's the best lighting in the house. So now, I'm going to show you a demo of my remote controlled PlayStation 2. Turn on the on switch. Sit on the ground. Screw my bipod into my camera right quick. That way I don't have to hold it. Hey kitty. What are you doing? Meow. Hey. Smile for the camera, butthole. I don't know how well this camera, this bipod's gonna work because it's pretty cheap. And it's a pretty crappy bipod. This is the one I use for my Wi Fi antenna. It cost a dollar. Okay, just making sure that's gonna stand up. All right, cool. Remote controlled PS2. Powered by Nico. And there you have it, the world's first and probably only remote controlled PlayStation 2. Thanks to yours truly. Ugh. Get this stupid bipod off. That was my old PlayStation 2 that I'd got back when I was in the Navy. That was my first PlayStation that I bought back in 2003. I, uh, it pretty much was dead. So I gutted it. And, uh, all you see is just the outer casing. There's, there's no real components left inside it anymore. I did, uh, make some attachments to, uh, put the CD face back on to hold the buttons in to see they still click the uh, PlayStation you know still turns I don't remember which way it turns well it did well maybe I glued it I don't remember it did used to turn I think it got glued in place uh, anyway these don't really open they move some. It's just because of the uh, stuff behind it that's holding it together. You can kind of see the wheels through the vents. Kind of my intentional design.
take the expansion bay. Oh yeah, I glued it. Never mind. I forgot. It's glued to. It's been a while since I messed with this thing. I, I filled in all these with uh, plastic. So. My intention was uh, to make a remote out of a PlayStation 2 controller for it, but I never uh, did because I, I lacked the, the uh, <laughs> knowledge to do that. So the regular Nico controller works, I guess. The remote control car that I used was a, it's a little $20 Nico car from Walmart. It uses six AA batteries. It's just a cheap old car. Quit, quit playing with the antenna, Midnight. Quit. This is a YouTube video. Better behave. Better behave. Anyway. Um, you goofball. Quit. Quit. Anyway. Uh, yeah, he's just going to play with it anyway. I'm just let him play with it. Uh, yeah, but anyway, my intention was also um, I kind of want to make a uh, PlayStation 1 RC car, a Xbox Monster Truck, and uh, I have a PS2 Slim case as well that I want to put an XMOD car into. That's one of my next projects is the, the little XMOD PS2 Slim. Hey, midnight. What are you doing? <laughs> I love my little kitty. He's just a goofball. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, hope you like that. You know, if you want to make your own, I don't care. You can copy my idea. Don't matter to me. I'm not going to, like, I'm going to patent it or something. Uh, I'll show you real quickly how we did it. Um, we used a soldering iron to cut out around the wheel well up front for the steering. We kind of just did it, you know, on a spur of the moment thing. We had no real plans. We didn't think it out or nothing. So that's why it looks real crude. That's just so the wheels can turn in, in its locations. Same for the back. We just use a soldering iron and we used a Dremel tool with a cutter wheel to cut the sides like that you see it's held together with the original screws PlayStation screws in the corners with the actual still has the little rubber pop out tabs the car itself is held in uh, we made these bracket spacers down in there and then it's uh, screwed right here. And then up front, it's it, the car is screwed up here too. So the car is actually screwed to the bottom panel from the uh, reverse side. So when you take it apart, you still have the car screwed to this part, and then the actual top casing comes off as one separate piece. And it sits real low to the ground. You can see the height, the ground, the right height of it. Just low enough to where you can't really tell, but then still high enough to where you can uh, clear obstacles, you know, that sort of thing. So, there's that. RCPS2. Thanks for watching.